The DEQ and other state agencies release results from their latest round of testing for heavy metals. The new soil, cancer, and urine test show southeast and northeast Portland residents are at low risk of health problems from exposure to heavy metals. Tim Becker was at this morning's announcement and has more on what those tests revealed. Tim? Good afternoon, Jenny. Uh, for right now, the overriding message is good news. But remember, this is just the first round of testing since the toxic levels of heavy metals were found in some areas around Portland. At the time, those were air tests. They were done by the DEQ back in October around Bullseye Glass in southeast Portland. Those results of high levels of cadmium and arsenic are what set off this latest round of tests. Those are the tests that we got the results of today. Well, the DEQ tells us they sampled 67 different areas for soil all around Bullseye Glass in southeast Portland for the same metals that COIN-6 tested for several weeks ago. That's cadmium, arsenic, lead, chromium, and several other metals. Well, they calculated averages for contaminants, and they determined that the emissions from Bullseye Glass are not resulting in harmful impacts to soils around the facility. They're very specific to say just soils at this point. Earlier, they had advised neighbors not to eat anything from their gardens. Well, today, they changed that, and they said uh, anything uh, along those lines, any such activity eaten out of your garden can be done without any significant health risk. Now, the Oregon Health Authority also reviewed cancer rates in North Portland, they tell us today, and they found the incidence of the disease was no higher than expected. We're going to have a lot more uh, about the detail of these tests on COIN6 News at 4, 5, and 6. And remember, this is just the first round of these latest tests. We still have air testing that is being done, and we expect to have the results from those in a week or two. And, of course, we'll share those with you when we get them in. Live in Northeast Portland, Tim Becker, COIN6 News.